Kalia, I'm Pastor Geoffrey Mutani from AIC Shokimau. I am here to welcome you to AIC Shokimau Nenobite series, episode 4. Our reading comes from the book of uh, uh, Acts, chapter number 4, and then uh, chapter number 1, verse 4, then verse 8. And I read Acts 1, 4, then I read verse 8. On one occasion, while he was eating with them, he gave them this command. Do not uh, leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father promised, which you have heard me speak about. Then verse 8, the Bible says, But you will live, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Brothers, I want to talk about from a follower to a witness. After the resurrection of Jesus Christ, he showed himself to his disciples for many times. And the Bible, where we just read, the Bible records that on one occasion, he was with his disciples. And he told them, do not leave Jerusalem. That is in verse 4. Why was he telling them not to leave Jerusalem? Remember that the disciples of Jesus Christ had followed him for all the time that Jesus Christ was here uh, on earth. For the time that he was in the ministry. They had seen him heal the sick. Actually, he had told them, you look at uh, Matthew 5, the sermon of the mount, on the mountain. They had seen him do exorcism, do deliverance, do everything. They had uh, they had even ate with them on the same table. But then, this did not qualify them to go and preach the word of God. In verse 4, he tells them, do not leave Jerusalem. They were allowed not to preach. They were allowed not to do anything. Verse 8, he tells them, when the power of God comes upon you, that is the time that you will go out and witness. Who oh, is a witness? A witness is a person who has a knowledge about something from either observation or experience. Brother and sister, it is the power of God that transforms a man from a follower to a witness. Through the spirit of God, you experience God in a way that you can speak about him. God first works within you. In a way that you can tell people about his goodness, about his love, because you have experienced the love yourself. And then he also uses you to work his love in the lives of others in a way that you can witness. You can, wit you can never witness about something that you have never experienced. Probably the reason as to why the ministry of Jesus Christ has stagnated could be that the church is full of followers other than witnesses. In Ephesians 5 verse 18, the Bible is telling me about, uh, about when a person gets filled with the Holy Spirit, when you get drunk of the Spirit of God. I mean, the songs of joy, the songs of spirit, spiritual songs just comes out of you naturally. Let me tell you, brother and sister, preaching is not for pastors alone. Preaching is for people who have received the power, who have become witnesses. Exorcism or deliverance is not for the pastors alone. It is for people who have received the power of God and they've become witnesses. May you desire not just to be a follower, but to be transformed to a witness. May God bless you. May God be with you. May God uphold you as you desire to become a witness in Jesus' name. Amen.